3D glowy boxes. I use them a lot. They're very fun to make and I wish I could make a glowy 3D box in every video that exists. I'm gonna be doing a Photoshop box, but this directly applies to Mario boxes, Mario Kart boxes, any floating glowing box, this is the effect that you wanna know how to do, okay? Super easy. And of course, guys, this video is freaking sponsored by Squarespace. First, we're gonna Google whatever box we wanna create. For me, I'm gonna make a Photoshop box. So I'm gonna type in Photoshop logo. If we bring our newly found logo into After Effects. The first step is with this, if the logo isn't perfectly a square like this one, for example, what we want to do is create a new solid and just make it the color of the background. Then we are just going to put it underneath of the logo and with um, a rectangle tool, we're just going to create a nice even uh, square. If you want to be um, a perfectionist about it, go to the align panel in your window and center it. Once you're happy with your box, let's take these two layers and pre-compose it and we're just going to name it Photoshop Layer Side 1. Okay, that was, you don't need to make it that long. But let's make this a 3D box. And you'll see here now that we've made it 3D on this active camera, right next to it, let's do two views. And on the second view right here, um, let's do custom view number one. And if we hit the C tool, it gives you this little orbiting option. So on our second panel, we can see it precisely where the box is in 3D space. So let's take this layer, I'll put it in one views for now, hit Y to select the anchor point, and we're gonna move it all the way to the side. So this little guy is directly on the edge. Let's go back to two views. And if I duplicate this layer and hit R and rotate the Y axis 90 degrees, bam, we've now created a box with our orbiting tool. We can see what we've done. Looks very nice, very 3D. And if we just rotate to the top, let's duplicate this side and drag it right here. That looks like it connects. Use the orbiting tool to double check. That looks fantastic. I see a, a tad, I see that it's not completely there. So I'm just gonna go Love that. We zoom out and now we can take the front box, duplicate that and move it to the back. Now we have um, a complete box. We just have to make the tops. So to make the top, let's select one of the sides. I'll do this front side. And if we grab our anchor point tool and we bring it to the very, very tippy top, let's duplicate it and hit R and we're gonna crank up the X rotation. And you can just type in straight up 90 degrees and it should do exactly what you want it to do. Let's check out all of our other boxes. Wow, this looks awesome. It's almost like a perfect 3D box. And of course the bottom here is hollow. A lot of the times I won't even fill in the bottom because you won't really see it, but just duplicate the top layer and with the Y arrow, bring it down until it completes the box. And remember, you can keep checking to see if it fits if you hit the C tool and cycle through all of like the 3D camera options. And now that we've got this perfectly 3D box, let's pre-compose all of these sides. Um, so now it's just gonna look like a 2D image, but we're just gonna check the 3D box and the star rasterization thingy. If we go back to two views and select on this uh, second view top, hit Y on your anchor point and make it towards the middle. I'll make the background black now that we know that it's a 3D box. And now, and now if you just hit the Y rotation, you could spin your box like a Mario Kart. Yeah, now you can just play around with your Y rotation. You can create a keyframe at the beginning, maybe go to the end and do like five rotations. Look, now you've got this gorgeous floating box. Okay, I'm gonna bring in this cool photo of like a big nature scene so I can show you how cool you can make your Photoshop box. I'm gonna make the background blurry, except for the foreground here. I'm gonna do that by applying a mask and using the compositing options to apply the blur to just where my mask is. Okay, so now our Photoshop box is spinning in a forest with a river. I'm trying to implement the vibes of maybe you stumble upon an item inside of a video game. So in After Effects, in the Effects and Presets panel, if you type in glow, you can crank that on there. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a glowing spinning box. You can even lower the opacity and it looks like the Tesseract. If you want to do something fun, you can create two position keyframes so the box will pop up into your scene. Boom. I will link this expression um, below, but Cinecom.net has this incredible bounce expression that if you copy and paste in any, uh, literally any uh, feature in After Effects, watch. If you bring two position keyframes together and apply, um, it will pop up and do a bounce. And you can apply the motion blur, bam. It looks Looks great. Now you've got an item. And just a few ways you can like stylize this. On the inside of these, you could like lower the opacity of all of these Photoshop boxes so you can see the other sides of them, which can give you a cool look. 
So now like the box is transparent. And let's say like if you want to do a Mario Kart thing, you could get rid of like the, the Photoshop logo and maybe let's download coin PNG. I'm just gonna save this image of a coin. If I bring that in here, if I turn this into a 3D object, I can put it inside this box and I can give it its own X rotation. How cool, I mean Y rotation. So if I create a rotation keyframes for this and like crank it up, now this coin is gonna spin inside the 3D box. So when we go to our main comp, we've got like a box item with something inside of it. Okay, I'll get rid of the, rota the rotation keyframes on the coin so it's just like an item inside the box. Inside this comp, I'm gonna add a deep glow to the coin, so fun. So yeah, that's how you would put something inside of a box. This is such a bad example, but I hope the, the effect translates. What you could also do is, um, in the case of a Mario Kart box, there's an effect called checkerboard, and you could put that on your effect and turn the uh, blending mode to stencil alpha. So if you put checkerboard on one of these layers, let's see what happens here. You can crank your width up to make these boxes really big and bat. I get rid of the uh, Photoshop logo and apply this checkerboard effect to all of them and I'll put an adjustment layer over top of everything and do a four, uh, four color gradient. I'll just go back into the main comp and I want you to show how it looks like we've created a Mario Kart box. And once you play around with the glow, you can have a Mario Kart box. It's spinning really fast. You can just play around with the size of the checkerboard of all these different layers. And just to show you how easily this could be like a Mario Kart box, let me change this solid to, um, I guess, what's the color? Like dark yellow kind of. Get rid of the Photoshop logo. Get out of here. And then with the text tool, I'll create a question mark. God, what font is that? Um, Arial, do Arial Black. Let's make this question mark giant. Wait, it's definitely white. Uh, and something cheeky we can do here. So if we go to Google and type in brick wall, download this image, save it. I'm going to use this little track mat button right here to make it just as big as this. And I'll set it to um, overlay. Bam, and now we've got a cool Mario box. Um, and now because we've already 3D'd up the previous Photoshop box, when you go in, now it's gonna be this amazing little uh, Mario box. Oh, let me take off this insane glow. So now we've got like a Mario Kart box in the middle of the forest. If I put the deep glow on, let's see how crazy we can make it look without making it insane. So if I do a low radius, high exposure. Ooh, that looks awesome. Now we've got a glowing box that'll give you an item for Mario. Ooh, look how crazy we can make this Mario box, guys. Whoa, look at this. So yes, play around with your 3D boxes and your glows. It's pretty incredible. You can do this with anything. Video game, pop-ups, galore. I hope you feel enlightened. This is such useful knowledge, so many good tricks. And of course, guys, this video is freaking sponsored by Squarespace. From online stores and marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. Let's say you wanna be a successful business person. As an independent artist, I know the feeling. To start, they let you do custom merch. So if you're an influencer or you wanna create a business around you as a personality or even a brand, you can rely on Squarespace for shipping and inventory and even design. Do the whole process through Squarespace. To dovetail off that, they have online retail stores. So not only can you make your own merch through Squarespace, if you make your own custom products yourself or even digital products like LUTs, visual effects templates or visual effects assets, you can put them in a really beautifully crafted online store within Squarespace. So it's a one-stop shop for everything e-commerce. And one of my favorite parts is if you want to make extra money making exclusive bonus content for your audience, they have member areas. So you can put exclusive bonus content that no one else will ever see anywhere except your Squarespace website. So you can start monetizing off of monthly subscriptions to basically your private library of bonus videos. Squarespace is amazing and I even got you a discount code. So if you go to squarespace.com slash Will Carmack, you'll get 10% off your first website or domain. Happy business running, everybody. Thank me later. Hope everyone learn something cool today. I hope you check out and support my sponsor. And where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day. <gasps>